All right, guys, Rowdy Yates, High Plains Biochar. We are here in Laramie, Wyoming. We're here right behind the USDA office. Um, and we are running some horse manure through the, the new Rocket Char 302 machine. Um, so we're gonna start out with, this is our, our uh, app uh, where you can actually check your temperatures through your phone, through your laptop or on your PC. And what this does, this tells us our temperature. So you can see right now we're at about 1386 degrees in the main burn chamber. You can see the fuel trough or the fuel auger has been off, off and on and you can monitor your temperatures. This is how you can adjust your set point and you can actually start and stop the machine all from your laptop. Uh, so it really, makes it really handy. You can sit in your office and make sure your biochar machine's running correctly. This also helps with the data collection as far as our carbon credits through the biochar co-op. Uh, but anyhow, so today we're running some manure. I'm going to show you the manure here, uh, right over here in the fuel bin. This is our new fuel feed system that we've designed. So today we're just running some manure. This is wild horse manure from the Bureau of Land Management over in Rock Springs, Wyoming. And as you can see, we've got a nice hot fire going in here. We're, our set temperature is at 1400 degrees. So right now we're at 1391. We're fluctuating around 25 degrees plus or minus as the fuel turns on and off. But this system is really slick. We were able to control the, the, uh, the fuel going in, the speed of that auger, the biochar, which controls our time. Uh, we're able to control our temperature with our PID controller. We've got a bin vibrator, which helps keep fuel feeding through there evenly. We've got a draft inducer that we use for startup. And then we've got our pump system. Uh, and this is how we quench the biochar and steam the biochar as it comes out of the back of the process. But um, as you can see, it's an we're running manure here today. You can look up here at the smokestack and you can see that there's absolutely no smoke coming out. Just a nice clear blue sky. That's kind of one of the secrets of this technology. Is this is, I believe, one of the cleanest technologies in the world, if not the cleanest stove in the world when you look at the emissions. But I'll come around here to the back and I'll show you guys what it looks like when the biochar comes out. All right, guys, so we're here at the back of the machine. This shows the biochar that's actually coming out. You can see it's nice, perfectly evenly cooked and quenched and ready to be, ready to be used. So that's how simple it is to make the newer biochar with the Rocket Char 302 from High Plains Biochar. If you're interested in more information, please reach out.